when we talk about higher psychological functions and lower psychological functions, we're not talking about dividing our psychological functions into two different grades. What's being talked about is how the psychological functions we're born with are transformed in the course of development into culturally developed higher psychological functions. So it's cultural development is the key thing. What's going on inside us is that we're born like all animals with um, our various psychological functions like memory, attention, self-control and so on located in specific parts of the brain, organs if you like. And through activity with artifacts, uh, which always engages the entire personality, all our psychological functions, we combine the different parts of the brain together to reconstruct our basic natural psychological function into new culturally developed or higher psychological functions. So for example, a young child has a good natural memory, it's like a photographic memory. They see something, they see the same thing again, a short time afterwards they'll recognise it. Right? As, uh, as my small child years ago, the age of three or four, could recite um, green eggs and ham beginning to end. I couldn't do that. Because at a certain age, a child solves problems by remembering. Right? They think by remembering the solution to the problem that they've been given before. At a later stage, they remember by thinking. They can't reproduce the image of the thing, but they can think it through. So they replace an eidetic memory with a logical memory. In further development, they can use such things as writing, taking notes of things or drawing pictures of things, uh, in order to develop a new line of development of memory uh, based in writing. Uh, so we, we have a, a, a memory but it's now been turned into a higher psychological function. Now the thing is with concepts, true concepts are specifically a higher psychological function because animals don't have true concepts and young children don't have true concepts either, they have pseudo concepts. That is to say they can recognize and name different things correctly but they don't have an understanding of them uh, which is contained in a true concept. And true concepts are generally acquired only um, in puberty, teenage sometime, when the child begins to be involved in the wider world. Okay, so higher psychological functions are the same psychological functions that are now not just what you're given by nature, but which have been uh, created culturally by combining together all the different uh, parts of the brain. So you're using um, your attention to enhance your memory and your memory to enhance your thinking and your thinking to enhance your self-control and so on. All parts of the brain working together 